In recent years, dietary supplements have grown into a $32 billion a year business. And as the industry has expanded, so has research into the possible benefits and risks of taking supplements. Supplements are tremendously popular. In the in late 1980s, more than a third of Americans were using these sort of products. And today, a little more than half of all American adults use dietary supplements. In the current issue of JAMA, Dr. Peter Cohen discusses the results of a new study examining trends in dietary supplement use among U.S. adults between 1999 to 2012. A total of 38,000 people were asked about what vitamins, minerals, and supplements they used. The results were compared over the 13-year period to identify trends and changes over time. This time period was also an era of intense investigation into the health effects of supplements. The National Institutes of Health invested several hundred million dollars into research on supplements, only to find most have no significant benefit. There was very high use of supplements going into, at the start of the study in 1999, 52%. What's interesting is that didn't budge at all over the next 13 years, and it was exactly the same, 52%, at the end of the 13 years. Dr. Cohen says he is surprised that supplement usage has stayed the same, even though studies have shown that many supplements have little to no benefit. And how will a consumer know if a supplement has certain side effects or risks? These are things that are not well presented given today's regulatory environment. And I think those are some major questions for the near future. Laura Berger, The JAMA Report.